Welcome back to this channel. This is Unfiltered Forex with me, Clement. And in this video, I'll be talking about investing in crypto. Definition. I know you don't care what cryptocurrency is. No one cares. People just want the money. And that's what we're going to get into. Requirements. There are some requirements you need when you want to get started in investing in cryptocurrencies. Number one is the tools you need. There are tools you need to do this. And then, of course, the knowledge. You need the knowledge to make informed decisions. Moving on, tools. There are tools you need in doing this. Number one, exchanges, crypto exchanges. These are platforms, online platforms, where you buy or sell your cryptocurrencies. In this case, it's just buying. So if you want to get started in crypto, you need crypto exchange where you're going to buy your stuff number two wallets you need a crypto wallet where you're going to store your cryptocurrencies then market analysis platforms these are platforms where you're going to analyze cryptocurrencies you are interested in and then decide on whether you're going to invest in them or analyze cryptocurrencies that you already own so these are the three major tools you will need in the crypto space exchanges let's talk about the most common exchanges binance binance is the most common and um, the biggest crypto exchange by far the volumes are insane coinbase this is the second largest crypto exchange after binance and the volumes are also big so these exchanges are most common because it is very easy to buy and sell cryptocurrencies on binance and on coinbase this is binance as you can see it has 170 million users and this is a live timer so 170 million and then you can register here and then yeah there's a live chart markets by crypto market trade. you could, these are the various services they offer p2p trading margin trading spot trading trading bots apis Hey, they have a lot of products. You can see there's even features and options on cryptocurrencies. There are staking options. There are, there are multiple, just a lot of stuff you can do. Let's go to the next one. Coinbase. Yep. Let's say hello, Netherlands. I am in Netherlands currently. No, that's a lie. I'm using a VPN connected to Netherlands. So yeah, it's showing me Netherlands. This is Coinbase. And you can see there are they offer some education. They also buy and sell services. There are wallets. There is a crypto wallet for Coinbase. Yeah, there's a card. You can take a loan crypto. So crypto exchanges have usually have especially advanced crypto exchanges like Binance and Coinbase. They have very many services. Let's move on. Wallets. Talking about crypto wallets. This, as I said earlier, this is where you store your cryptocurrencies. So there are hot wallets and there are cold wallets. Hot wallets, these are online wallets and you can use them from your mobile phone. And they're just online wallets. They are considered non-custodial, but they are usually, I, I think they are custodial wallets. That's my honest opinion on these ones because I have had experiences whereby some of these wallets they have issues that send red flags that they are custodial wallets anyway i'm sure you kind of don't understand that for now so let's stick to the basics they are hot wallets these are online wallets and cold wallets these are offline wallets hot wallets trust wallet metamask coinbase wallet so these are mobile apps and even desktop apps where you can keep your cryptocurrencies and monitor their performance. Cold wallets, Ledger and Trezor, these are completely offline crypto wallets and they are considered to be the safest. Let's move on. Market analysis platforms. This, this is where we talk about where you're doing analysis on your cryptocurrencies you want to buy or the cryptocurrencies you already have these market analysis platforms they offer historical data about the cryptocurrencies and both qualitative and quantitative data 
on the cryptocurrency on various cryptocurrencies almost all of them number one coin market cap this is the most popular i think this is the most popular market analysis platform for cryptocurrencies there's also another one called coin gecko these are two very common and very useful market analysis tools for cryptocurrencies let's look at the websites here we are this is coin market cap as you can see you don't even know where to start so just go to the list of cryptocurrencies and then look for the one you're interested in let's look at bitcoin for example you click that name so you can see it's showing you the bitcoin price the chart and then you can scroll here on the left side yeah this is the left this is the official bitcoin website this is the white paper you believe you you will know if you don't know you will know what a white paper is then of course scroll here it talks about the performance and then scroll down here there is bitcoin news so this is where the fundamentals part come in and yeah you can see all the news related to bitcoin yeah so it's very it's a very useful tool when you want to do market analysis price analysis for cryptocurrencies yeah the other one coin gecko yep you can see the link here coingecko.com all these websites that's the that's the link binance.com coinbase.com market coin market cap.com coingecko.com yeah you can see coingecko is the same as coin market cap slightly different layout but it's also very useful see info website white paper blockchain this is the explorer bit blockchain explorers are other tools but those are kind of more advanced i'm not going to talk about them in this video there's also yeah the wallets community yep price and then scroll down here you're going to see you're going to find the news yeah bitcoin markets this this is where you can buy bitcoin and then bitcoin latest news so yeah as you can see these two websites have a lot of info on any single cryptocurrency you would want to search about so let's move on knowledge we're done talking about the tools now let's talk about the knowledge this knowledge part is going to be kind of shallow because crypto is very very wide so i'm just going to stick to the extreme basics and very important bits of knowledge you need to know but one blockchain fees it's not free to it's not usually free to transact cryptocurrencies across blockchains so if you want to send bitcoin from one address to another that's going to cost you money it's going to cost you some bitcoin if you want to even when you want to buy bitcoin from an exchange there are fees well you remember the exchanges i talked about binance and coinbase the fees are usually very low and they are very friendly platforms because of that the fees are usually very low on most cryptocurrencies you would want to buy so but when it comes to some some notorious blockchains such as ethereum the ethereum blockchain the fees the gas prices are usually expensive and yeah when you're buying cryptocurrencies like ethereum or just any cryptocurrency that uses the ethereum network through the ethereum blockchain you are very likely to experience high fees so that's something you need to remember seed freeze seed freeze is your password in crypto remember we talked about wallets yeah hot wallets cold wallets they have a password and that password is a seed freeze and it's usually 12 words 18 words 24 words yeah the, it's it's a very long list of words it's not even a sentence it's just a list of random words and that is your password for your crypto wallet moving on not your keys not your coins yeah this is something very common this is let me say let me say this the exchange platform the crypto exchange that is not a crypto wallet crypto exchanges are not crypto wallets because they are custodial and for their services to be very efficient as efficient as they are usually 
for the services to be as efficient as they are, it's usually they have to be custodial to prevent too many transactions, too many unnecessary transactions that are in-house. If something is in-house, there's no need for it to go to the blockchain. So they just keep things custodial and to make their services efficient. But once you buy all the cryptocurrencies you need, it's good to send them to your wallet because, yep, if the crypto exchange collapses, they collapse with your money. More than one, DYOR, you will hear this a lot. This means do your own research. Yep, there's even a podcast show talking about that uses this name, called by this name, and I will leave the link in the description. So do your own research. There are a lot of influencers, shell influencers. There's a lot of influencers who they, they hype up these cryptocurrencies and they are paid to do that, such that um, in the end, there comes something called a rug pull. So as I said earlier, this knowledge space is very wide, very wide. There is a lot of slang lingo used in crypto world that is not used in other, it's, it's a terminology thing. Yeah, when you come to crypto, there are a lot of terminologies specific to this industry, specific to this space, and you need to know most of them if you're going to last. But as an investor, you really you really don't have to know many of these. Yeah, so that's it for education, for knowledge, yeah. There are some crypto academies, like I showed you, Coinbase, the crypto exchange, they, ha they offer crypto education. Also, Binance, they also have crypto education. Let's check on their website. Yep, here we are. Yep, Academy. As you can see here, Binance, they have a crypto academy. Same with Coinbase here, Learn. Tips, tutorials, update system, crypto basics, Web3, crypto policy. Yeah, these websites, they usually have some very, some very useful info to get you started. As you can see here, I told you about various terminologies, FUD, FUD, FOMO, RECT. F just to give you a, a short description, food is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. FOMO is fear of missing out. Wrecked is wrecked, like getting wrecked. Wrecked, the English word that starts with the W, wrecked. Now, this is the what slang word for wrecked in crypto, in the crypto space. So, an NFT, this, you really don't need to know this now. So, I think that's it for this video. Yep, the end. I hope you learned something new. If you have questions, you can ask in the comments. And, yep. That's it. See you in the next video.